Oh my gosh, guys. Hello. He just woke up from a, like, a, I don't even know what time I fell asleep. And I guess it was between three and four hour nap. I always do this on my first day back to work. So today was like my Monday at work. And I always take a really good nap because 5 a.m. comes fast. Well, 4 a.m. is what time I wake up. And I get to work by about 4.30 and then I work at 5. So technically 4 a.m. Anyways, that's all beside the point because I am headed over to the new coffee shop. Uh, while I was taking my nap, Casey and our good friend William actually went and picked up our espresso machines from our storage building, our brand new ones that I vlogged about a couple of weeks ago um, from La Marzocco. And so we are going to go over to the new shop and we are going to install those at the new shop. Um, a few things about installing espresso machines. If you're looking to open a coffee shop, if you're looking to start a coffee shop, can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> um, the lines, the water lines, you have to be very careful because if there's any dust or construction debris that gets into the water lines when you are starting up the machine, it can damage, permanently damage your machine and you'll have to go through and take out all the parts and start all over. So it's very important that you're very careful with the water lines when you start the espresso machines. So basically Casey and William are gonna go flush all of the lines multiple times with several gallons of water just to make sure that nothing is in those water lines. Then we'll hook them up and get them going. This is a huge step for us, you guys. Once we have these espresso machines in, once we put all the equipment in, we'll be ready to start training over there. Yesterday I went through, we had over 100 applicants and we narrowed it down to 27 and set up interviews for next week. So we're going to do group interviews, groups of six to seven people, and we are going to narrow it down and hopefully find 15 people to add to our team. This is like huge and exciting and nerve wracking and all the above. Um, I feel really good about it though. I feel like we have a good plan, a solid plan. I feel like I really went through all the applications and found people I felt like would be the best fits possible. And so hopefully through the interview process, we'll be able to find those 15 people who have our vision and carry out what our company stands for and represent us in the way that we deserve and want to be represented in the community. So headed over to the new coffee shop right now and I will vlog the process of these new espresso machines for you. So I set the camera on my dash to drive over. We're gonna see how bad of a driver I am and if I can keep this thing up there. But I really only live one corner away from the new coffee shop, so I think it's gonna make it. But an update on the building. The building itself is done and it's kind of been done. Um, two things that we're still working on is putting all the equipment away, which is what Casey's working on right now. And then also we have not purchased furniture yet. And that's been a challenge. We want to find stuff that's good quality, stuff that's gonna last us, um, stuff that we really like. And so that is probably the other thing this week that we are going to work on challenging ourselves to finish is getting furniture ordered. So once we have the equipment in and the furniture ordered, we're basically done. The inside of the shop is done. We did decide last minute to do concrete around the drive-through portion of the building. Um, this was a big step for us because it was more expensive than just asphalting the whole thing. Um, but the reason that we decided to do it is because concrete withstands turning and stopping and going better than asphalt does. Um, and so we decided to just do the drive-through portion of the building with the concrete and we decided to leave the asphalt um, for the rest of the parking lot. And I'm stuck at this like massive stop sign where I'll never get to go, so I'll show you guys. But it is rainy, it was snowing all morning, awful, awful weather, and so who the heck knows when we're going to be able to asphalt the building. We are hoping in February, and I still am hoping, um, or very early March, which is why I kind of started that um, application interview process right now. It takes me four weeks to train new girls or guys, um, and so I need four weeks with these people. Here I go. Ooh. Told you guys that was gonna happen. Oh man. It was because that four-way stop is intense to cross, but we're good, we're all good. All right, I just got to the new shop. I'm going to go inside and help Casey and William get this new espresso machine all set up. Two of them, we got two new machines. Um, exciting moment here today. This is 
kind of the bread and butter when you own a coffee shop the espresso machine is the whole thing it's what makes it all happen so I'm gonna head inside also to show you guys I was totally just resting the camera right here so no wonder it fell right like you barely go and it's gonna go flying There's number one. Oh, that hurt. Which uh, kind of this one right here? That was so easy. Cool. So you can see this is the concrete we decided to do. Right now I'm leaning out of the drive-through window. So we concreted all this, but see here's where it's gonna become asphalt. And unfortunately for asphalt, it needs to be over 40 degrees. It needs to be dry. And right now it's over 40 degrees, but it's so wet. This is my beautiful goddaughter, guys. Can you say hi, Lucy? Hi. Say hi. She's watching trolls. Can you say hi? You guys, Lucy is so shy around me, and I don't know why usually kids are so in love with me. She loves Casey, and me, she's always like, mm, I don't know about you, but one time, she loved me. One time. I'll get there. Come here, Goose. Come here. Come say hi. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. See? She sniffs me. She's like, nope. Back away, crazy lady. Hi. Goose, why are we not friends? Serious question. Huh? Oh. Four beautiful pore filters. Dang. So beautiful. Love it. Feels good. Man, these are beautiful. Although we use precision filters instead of La Marzocco filters. Baskets, not filters. Do they call them filters? Screens? Screens. Well, we use precision baskets. Baskets. And we use precision screens as well. Man, these are beautiful. I love all the new stuff they give you. so pretty when they're new. Built in December of 2018. Look at that. Haba, haba. That's as new as it gets right there. Good. So what's kind of crazy about La Marzocco, but also kind of cool, is that if you saw one of their machines, this same model, from 2000, it would honestly look the same. The only thing that's changed on it are the Kronoses, which are these guys. Everything else stays the same, so the parts are universal. We actually bought our first machine used, and it um, looks exactly the same as this one. If nobody knew, they'd have no idea. The portafilter handles have changed, these guys. So long. Wow, I cannot get it out. But these guys, the handles themselves have changed. Other than that, nothing has changed. That's all the same. It's all the same. The pump has updated a little bit, but if you need parts for your 2000, you can still buy them with the brand new ones. So the boys just went to go get more parts for the machine. Um, well, not parts, but tools to put this sucker together and there's the second one so stuff going on with um, just the plumbing setup and the wiring and all of that so they are working on that and Lucy and I are just chilling at the coffee shop I put my phone down for her and she's just watching trolls and she's happy as a clam so what do you do 
I mean, I know that's probably lazy babysitting, but she's happy and that's all that matters to me. You happy, Goose? You happy? Also, can we talk about for just a second that she let me hold her today. This is like big steps as a godparent. She was not into wanting to be with me and today she walked up and she reached up and like wanted me to hold her. So how freaking awesome is that? I just got home from the shop. The boys got a lot done, but they're not quite hooked up all the way. That'll probably take some more time. Um, but it's fun to see it all coming together and see the vision becoming reality. Um, we're getting so close at this point that my nerves are like through the roof, but I'm so excited. And it's been a lot of work. It's been a lot of time. It's been a lot of money. It's been a lot of everything. And so getting to this point is a really exciting step. And uh, I just am glad we're here. I'm glad we're to this point. And I know that within the next couple of weeks, some major things will be happening there. And we'll see this thing come to life. As always, thank you guys for watching the vlog, for staying in touch with what we've got going on. We're so excited to show you guys everything for this coffee shop, bring you along for this entire process start to finish. And before you know it, it's going to be open and running. Hope you guys had a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.